You know what I did? I, I can take it from my point of view, and then I'll talk about it from a singing point of view, actually. I think it's a matter of listening to things. You know, let's, let's hear how the music inspires you, because that's the first thing. Nine times out of ten, it's going to be in a foreign language. I know one of the first pieces I listened to ever was Salome, which, which I'm thrilled to say was my Strauss debut at the Santa Fe Opera, my, my solo Strauss debut. And, and um, uh, man, I was about 12. And I wasn't reading along. I was just listening to it in my bedroom with headphones on, an old, you know, um, mono record player from the Akron Public Library in Ohio. I got this out, and it was Birgit Nilsson, who, you know, that talk about a force of nature. And, and I'm lying there at, you know, 11 or 12, and I'm listening and listening, and she got to the scene with John the Baptist, where it was very obvious. Every time he sang, it went minor, which I didn't know, but intellectually I could feel that something had gone askew. And she's screaming at him, and I mean, that's not a pretty sound, and it's words. Just the word schrecklich, you know, and the way she bit it off. I was like, oh, all right, she's not happy, and, you know, it was great. And then you get into the final scene. You get into the, the huge Salome monologue, the 12-minute monologue at the end that she has. And it was just so beautiful, it made me weep. And I, boy, I know I'm turning red just thinking about it, in fact. And she, it, it changed my life. It genuinely changed my life. And I would go up and then I would take like eight opera recordings out and I'd do nothing but be a really strange, strange preteen and listen to opera lying in bed, which sort of give everybody clues to the future of my life on many levels. And, and uh, uh, so that's my first suggestion is listen to these things and then read the libretti. Because, you know, everybody thinks that rap lyrics are tough and, and scandalous and that Britney Spears is scandalous and for different reasons she's scandalous. But... But read about Salome, this 15-year-old kid who, you know, ripped her clothes off for her stepfather, who murdered her father and married her mother and killed one of the great holy figures of all time, depending on your religious spirituality or sensibilities that in that direction. See if that doesn't shake you up and have a profound impact on you, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing. It can be really inspirational. As a singer, uh, you know, I'm kind of torn on that. Uh, if you love to sing, enjoy it. Don't think I'm going to go into opera necessarily, but don't be afraid to go to school and take voice lessons also and ease your way into it. I, we've, we've been discussing this recently in, in faculty meetings. I'm part of the voice faculty here, and I have these phenomenal colleagues. I am blessed. I, I, I've worked at a, a directed at a number of universities, not taught necessarily, but and usually the politics are horrendous at this school. We just never have it, never. And uh, we were talking about the passion of music and how that should be what inspires these young people to come into the arts period, whether or not they end up as an opera singer. That's a whole other you know, chapter in their books. But, but if they really, if, if they can't imagine them doing something in their lives that doesn't involve music, then they should be pursuing some sort of musical venue. And it could be anything from ethnomusicology to to being a conductor, <clears throat> excuse me, to being a musicologist on another level, to being a critic, God forbid, to being, you know, anything, to playing the tuba, to, 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 to being in marching band at USC and being a flag uh, twirler in marching band. We had a guy who, who did that, who was with us for four years as an undergrad, who did a lead in Miss Lonely Hearts last year. Um, uh, you know, it's it's but to be involved on some level, realizing that opera is a very tough field, one tenth of one percent of people who try to get into this business end up in it. Less than that make forty thousand dollars a year or more. You know, this has been proven statistically. But it is it's a wonderful area, and there's so many venues, PR, marketing, so many venues. So it's it's a great it's a great outlet.